What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today, we're going to be going over why Milo Sadosic has been key in the Clippers winning streak. So before I start, if you guys want to see more NBA content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. As I post daily and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So the Clippers are currently on a 4 game winning streak going into tonight's game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And a big part of their resurgence has been getting players healthy again. While Patrick Beverly is still out for the year, Blake Griffin has returned along with point guard Milos Tedosic. Griffin is obviously a great player and his return provides the Clippers with a go-to scoring and playmaking option, but I cannot understate the importance of Milos Tedosic coming back. On the season, the Clippers are 9-3 with Tedosic playing, which is much better than their overall 17-19 record. So without Tedosic, the Clippers are 8-16. So to convert that to percentages, the Clippers are a 75% winning team with Tedosic compared to a 33% winning team without him. So a big reason why the Clippers were losing without Griffin and Tedosic is because they didn't have a true point guard to run the offense and move the ball. Their playmaking and ball movement fell dramatically without these two guys playing and including Patrick Beverly as well, as a lot of the Clippers scoring came from Lou Williams and Austin Rivers on iso ball plays and while both of those guys are pretty good scorers especially lou williams a team cannot rely on iso ball scoring for most of their points no matter how good the team is so with milos tedosic back we see a lot more ball movement to go along with his amazing passes with tedosic back at the starting point guard spot this also helps other guys go back to their natural positions and not to mention lou williams goes back to his normal high scoring role off the bench providing more scoring to a second unit that is pretty weak without him Tedosic's passing also opens up opportunities, or at least more opportunities, for Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan to score, as he has tremendous vision, as I said before, and also, he usually makes a ton of great outlet passes throughout every game, and this leads to easy twos for his teammates. Not to mention, while Tedosic isn't shooting too well from the floor so far this season, and I think a lot of that is due to his injury and returning, as he might be a little rusty, and he's still getting used to the NBA, He's shooting 31% from 3 and the sheer amount of 3's he takes, he takes over 6 per game. It forces opponents to guard him from outside and this leads to better spacing and open lanes for guys like Austin Rivers and Blake Griffin to drive in and they can get easy opportunities there to score or kick it out to the open guy. So overall it's great to see Tadosic back as he's one of my favorite players to watch but he's even more important for the Clippers to continue to win. If Tadosic stays healthy along with the other guys as well. I could definitely see the Clippers shoot up the rankings and into possibly a 6th seed in the Western Conference playoff picture. I can't wait to see what happens with them and I'm definitely going to continue watching their games and I'm definitely rooting for Milos Tedosic to keep playing well and most importantly, stay healthy. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as your support is greatly appreciated. I do put out daily NBA content and I will be making some more Milos Tedosic videos as he is one of my favorite players so I'm definitely going to be making some more videos on him soon and throughout the rest of the season and not to mention be sure to drop a comment down below on your thoughts on Milos Tedosic and the Clippers winning streak how important do you think he is to the team let me know down in the comments below and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys so once again thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video peace